I'm in Seoul, Korea right now, and this is a place known for KFC. No, not the Colonel Sanders that's right behind me, but KFC stands for Korean Fried Chicken. Hey, this is Andrew Lim inviting you to go out on a limb. So I am in Seoul, Korea right now, and I'm standing in front of a KFC. Yep, Kentucky Fried Chicken. That makes me think, is the KFC from the States, as in Colonel Sanders here, from Louisville, Kentucky, as good as the KFC in Korea? Um, stands for Korean Fried Chicken. Yes, there are many fried chicken joints here. Apparently, there's a survey back in 2015 that says that there are actually as many or there are more uh, fried chicken joints in Korea than McDonald's worldwide. And that's a lot. I'm curious, I'm gonna go check it out and see how the fried chickens here uh, at KFC, as in Kentucky Fried Chicken, stacked up to uh, the fried chicken at many different fried chicken joints that we get here in Korea, in Seoul. Some of them are chains like Bonchon, Kyochan, Chicken in the Kitchen, and some of them are independently run as well. So come with me, we'll go have some fried chicken tests. Hey guys, so I got the, uh, I'm at KFC right now and I got the crispy chicken set, uh, which is the original chicken on the bone. Apparently that's the only kind that they have here. Uh, the rest are, comes boneless or uh, chicken nuggets or um, roast chicken, uh, but not uh, the crispy chicken. Uh, I'm surprised because I thought usually there was a spicy variety, but apparently at this KFC there's only one kind, which is the uh, original original fried chicken and it costs about six dollars for combo which consists of two pieces of chicken a small fries and a medium soda so we'll see this is the original mm. actually interestingly the original is u.s spicy in fact I think it's spicier than the spicy version of KFC back in the States. Um, meat's really tender, it's really flavorful, um, but I think the skin itself is not crispy enough. That's the only thing I have to complain, but I think the meat's really tender and juicy, um, and the uh, seasoning is really great. I mean, it's really spicy um, and it's flavorful. I'm gonna try this piece, maybe this piece is crispier. So fat. Mm. It is crispy. So, well, I think the drumstick was a bit off. Maybe there's a, um, a quality inconsistency, but this piece, the breast, is really crispy and flavorful. Um, in fact, I think this standard is equivalent to BBQ chicken, uh, which is another Korean fried chicken chain that we have in New York as well. Is exactly the same. I would think, I think that the KFC here has better chicken than the KFC back in the States. There you have it. That's my assessment of KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken in Seoul. So I'm at Chicken in the Kitchen. It's a really relaxing atmosphere here. It's uh, um, not like a KFC, uh, but this is more like a coffee bar. Uh, you know, playing Tom Petty music. <laughs> So um, <coughs> I just had a meal at Chicken in the Kitchen. Um, it's not great, actually. Uh, the meal costs about $13, including beer, so it's a steal. But for some reason, uh, it's not crunchy. I had the original. Much like when I was at Kentucky Fried Chicken, I had the original. Um, so I chose the original as well, which supposedly is the most popular uh, chicken on the menu. But for some reason, it's not um, tasty. It doesn't stack up to KFC. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken that is. Um, there's a hint of rosemary uh, in the meat. The meat's juicy, uh, but uh, 
uh, it's just not flavorful enough. The hint of rosemary uh, just doesn't do it for me. Uh, it's not crunchy enough. Uh, you know, it's just a disappointment. But the service is great. I mean, they even opened the door for me when I left. Uh, so service is top notch. Round one, uh, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken versus Chicken in the Kitchen, Korean Fried Chicken brand, KFC wins. So a little bit about Korean fried chicken in Korea. I mean, the number has boomed for the last decade. Uh, it rivals that of McDonald's. And there are about 55 to 60,000 Korean uh, fried chicken chain here in Korea. Uh, about 20 to 25,000 are franchise, and about 30, I think, to 35 are independently owned. Uh, reason being that there are actually a lot of baby boomers here that started uh, going to this business in the last 10 years. I mean, they retired, they wanted to make a living. Uh, frying chicken is relatively easy. And that's the reason why you see the fried chicken chain boom in Korea in the last decade. So guys, I'm at BBQ Chicken. Uh, this place is very different from chicken in the kitchen. It's uh, very noisy, it's very clubby feel. I won't say clubby, but like, you know, it's very happening uh, with TV blasting, like, you know, music videos. And of course, I ordered the uh, Golden Olive Chicken, uh, which is their signature chicken, which is like original. So again, I'm keeping with the original theme because I want to try all the originals. Their claim to fame is that they use olive oil. They're the first one to use olive oil to fry their chicken. Uh, hence it's healthier. But it's really interesting because olive oil is not well known for their uh, smoking points. So olive oil is uh, known to have a lower smoking point. So to be able to make that happen uh, is interesting. I mean, I've had their chicken in New York. Uh, there is a BBQ chicken in New York. It's always great. So So guys, so I had the uh, golden olive chicken at BBQ Chicken. It's really great. Uh, BBQ Chicken and beer, to be exact. It's really great. Uh, the meat, uh, uh, it's moist. The meat is moist. The seasoning is great. It definitely has spiciness to it as well. Uh, it's flavorful. And the skin is definitely crispier than that of KFC. So for this round, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken versus BBQ Chicken, I have to give it to BBQ Chicken because uh, the skin is crispier. It's equally flavorful, uh, it's equally moist in terms of the meat, but uh, when it comes to the chicken skin, BBQ chicken wins hands down. So I got my big plate of chicken. It's garlic chicken. It's kamapa chicken. I'm gonna try it. Um, I don't think I can finish it all, but uh, it smells really good. I'm gonna try the drumstick first. Mm. Mm. Really crunchy. And the garlicky taste, at first you don't feel it, but it's seeping through. It's pretty good. I kid you not, I'm fried chicken out here in Seoul. Uh, but anyways, I just had mapa chicken, I think. Mapa chicken, I had the soy garlic, which is the original, um, and it comes with leeks, uh, so it's topped with leeks. And I think the, uh, the meat is very uh, moist, uh, it's the seasoning is amazing. Uh, soy garlic, it's not spicy, but it's very flavorful, and the skin is really crispy. When it comes to comparison versus Kentucky Fried Chicken, I would have to, hmm, I think it's equal. Uh, as much as I love the leeks on the chicken at Mapa Chicken, leeks are just toppings, so you can't really count that uh, for the competition.
you guys so i'm actually sick of uh, getting the whole chicken so i'm just getting i just got wings and drumettes um uh, these are the drumettes which is like the smaller drumstick so i got the uh, soy garlic which is uh, kyo chan's original uh, it smells really good very garlicky so i'm just gonna eat and see if it's uh, as crispy as the one that i expect Hey guys, so I just came out from Kyo Chan. I just had the fried chicken at Kyo Chan. Uh, it was really good. Uh, the meat was uh, very uh, uh, moist, uh, very juicy actually. Um, actually, juicier. I think it's the juiciest so far of all the fried chicken I've had. Um, and also, the uh, seasoning was great. I had soy garlic, that was the signature uh, dish. The seasoning was great. The coating. I think uh, the batter and the coating, they did really well as well. You know, to be fair, I think uh, the chicken that I had was of smaller portion, smaller pieces, uh, probably has different implication when it comes to doing that versus a regular piece of chicken. So in all fairness to KFC or Kentucky Fried Chicken, I think I shouldn't compare the two, although I, I still like, I still prefer Kyo Chan for the juiciness of his chicken. So for this round, I have to give it to Kyo Chan with the caveat that, yeah, this is a small piece of chicken that we're talking about. And guys, so after all this fried chicken, uh, this is exactly what you need. It's lemonade with Asian pear and honey. It helps soothe your throat. So this is what you need after eating all this fried chicken in Seoul.